It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Oh, man. Now, this is what I would call a trinity of trivia, a triumvirate of trifles, a threesome of three people. Nice. Okay. All right. No time for dilly-dally. And, of course, no game is fun without sharp objects to play with. Listen up. Say the question comes up and your neighbor gets that Mount Rushmore look on their face like they don't know what's going on. It's a perfect time to buzz in, hit the S key, and screw them. Then they gotta answer. Got it? Lights, camera, action. Player three, tell me what's on your mind. The selection is a woman of all seasonings. This one's worth a grand. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. Suppose Mrs. Dash went on a crash diet. Because it's an even smaller amount than a dash, which of the following might you want to be called? Mrs. Scant Teaspoon, Mrs. Pony, Mrs. Layer 2, grab it. Just doesn't get any wronger than this. Layer Up to you, Player 3. No, and I don't want to think of dear old Mrs. Dash in a scanty anything. Player one. Player one, hit it. A pinch is about one-sixteenth of a teaspoon. A dash is just a little bit more. No matter how little she eats, I still say she's got too much salt in her diet. Player one, tell me what's happening. Let's see what we got going as the word turns. And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. So, you think you know your soap operas? Well then. Which of these opera titles is an anagram of a famous brand of soap? Aida, Carmen, Tosca, or Deflator Mouse? Take a shot, player two. The letters in Tosca, an Italian opera composed by Puccini, can be rearranged to form the word Coast, which is a brand of soap. <laughs> I'm not sure what Tosca means, but I, I think it's some sort of condiment. You have the honors, player two. And I believe this one's called, oh, what a relief is it? And we got 3,000 bucks in the pot. Ready? Say you're a stone cutter. Did you say it? Okay. If you're carving a sculptural image that is slightly projected from the surface on which you are carving, which of the following are you doing? And by the way, this has to do with the way I'm pronouncing a certain word. Carving a fish in bass relief, carving a sheep in bar relief, carving a guitar in bass relief, or carving a bus in bus relief. Layer two, it's yours. Bass relief? No, that sounds like this. <laughs> Layer three, bus relief? Exact change only, please. Player one. Player one. Bow relief is a type of sculpture that's different than high relief in that the image is only slightly raised from the surface. Actually, this is my definition of bow relief. Let's have a category player. Well, what do we have here? Nobody can do the boogaloo like I do. $1,000 at stake on this one. Put your tray in the upright position. It's time for takeoff. Say instead of singing na 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 for the chorus of Land of a Thousand Dances, you sang the element that N.A. represents. All yours, player one. N.A. is the chemical symbol for sodium. Now, if you've got that much salt in the land of 1,000 dances, then you're going to be in the land of 1,000 heart attacks right after the shimmy. Player one, give me category. You don't want to blow it on number five. And this one is a man with cramps. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. All right, perk up. In the 1994 movie Junior, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays a man who gives birth to a baby. The Greek god Zeus also gave birth to a baby. If Arnold's character in Junior wanted to conceive his child in the same manner as Zeus, what would he have to do? Mate with a horse, consume his wife, swim naked in the ocean, or look at dirty pictures? 
Layer two, grab it. Zeus's daughter was born from the side of his head after he ate the Titan Matisse. So Arnold's character would have to swallow his wife, played by Emma Thompson, to try to achieve the same effect. <laughs> and I'm sure Arnold could do it. His head's big enough. Layer two, give me something. category is Spanish Fly Girls. I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Okay, let's imagine that the Spice Girls find boyfriends. Yeah, I know, it would be real tough. Let's call them the Herb Boys. If Scary Spice's boyfriend is nicknamed Horny Herb, what is most likely his real herbal Take a shot, player two. Damiana or Ternera Aphrodisiaca is a reputed cure for impotence. <laughs> Folklore says the bark of this herb put chlorophyll back in the old stamen. Of course, giving a totally new meaning to the term woody. Your pick, player two, how... Hey, look over there. It's question seven. Okay, give it up for... Oh, what a night. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. Hey, what kind of wedding reception do you suppose the king and queen of a chess set would have? Considering the way it moves on a chessboard, which chess piece would not be able to do the electric slide at the royal wedding reception? The bishop, the king... Player three, do it! Aw, oh, just can't do anything right, can you? Player two, it's you... No, the rook's got the moves, but he spends most of the night in the corner. Player one, hit it! No, the king could do the electric slide. One step at a time. Whoa, what the hell is that smell? The electric slide moves back and forth and side to side. The bishop can only move diagonally, so no wedding dancing for him. However, I did see him leave with one of the bridesmaids. Player three, time to make a decision. Excellent choice, player three. Warm up your fingers while players one and two get out of the way, because it's your turn to play this or that. The category for this dis or dad is Uma Oprah. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a person with the last name Zappa or the last name Phoenix. As each comes up, if it's someone with the last name Zappa, press 1. If it's someone with the last name Phoenix, press 2. And if you want to skip one, press 4. You get 500 for each right answer, and you lose 500 for a wrong answer or one you don't get to. Okay, can I have 30 seconds on the clock, please? And we're off. Liberty, Zappa Kid or Phoenix Kid? Moon Unit, Joaquin, Summer, Rain, Ahmed. Last one, Weasel. That's all she wrote. You got four right, you missed three. Hard to be enthusiastic about that. Let's throw it into your total. Could be worse, your score could be going down. In fact, it still might. Let's find out. Your turn, player two. What's it gonna be? is number nine. For your enjoyment, sitting in your own pew. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Now, if you've ever been in one of those confessionals in a Catholic church, you know it can be pretty intimidating, but imagine this. While admitting your sins, you hear a huge fart from behind the screen where the priest should be. Because their name means divine wind, to whom have you most likely... Take a shot, player two. Kamikaze means divine wind. <laughs> that explains why priests wear those long robes. Hmm, I wonder what player two's gonna pick. Holy group interaction! You're about to play a three-way! Okay, let me briefly explain here. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. If you buzz in when the correct member of the three-way is lit up, it's a thousand in the bank. But look out, it'll cost you a grand.